something there. Did the piranha dudes come back? They do not. Something stinks really bad. Is that I'll complete the second? Oh, we're in a bathroom again. Oh, I don't have the key card. Three. Oh, here comes number four. Wait. Get back here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that was close. Did it get him though? Oh, yep, yeah, we got him. Got him too. Uh huh. Nice. Whew. This game is a lot of fun, actually. I was only gonna play it for an hour tonight, By the but I way, mean, how many rats were down there? How many rats? Oh God! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how many rats, everybody? All the rats! Hell yeah! The sewer was infested with assassin rats. No! They were everywhere, rushing to devour me alive. It was horrible. Felt like I was a huge chunk of cheese. Like Ben. What? No! Oh my god, why? No! Why? Oh! <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs> Oh my god. Fuck, they got me! Oh no, the rats! <laughs> Dollar Story Agony Sacks! Ah, uh, the smell of napalm. Oh, like, oh, I can combine this with the gasoline! And then combine that. Okay, I I see now. Maltovs. Nice. Oh, another drum. Why is it giving me another drum? Craft a Maltov cocktail.
Inside oh. some debris, I found an old flamethrower. It was in bad condition, but I could fix it. Oh. The worst part was the fuel tank was savagely chewed apart. It couldn't be saved, so I set out to replace it. Nice. Probably the rats. <laughs> Okay, I, I bet. Yeah, I have to use the flamethrower on. Okay, so we gotta go up. Dora scares me with how much they are really into fire. <laughs> okay, that must be the other area we, we left. Like that bathroom. Okay, it's giving me a bunch of stuff, and I don't know how to feel about that. Because <laughs> it's. Okay. This game is very entertaining. So I'm, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna, we're gonna put up a poll. And so I'm just gonna ask you guys, continue this game for the night or do we go to the Herald Game Jam games? I do wanna play more of the Herald Game Jam games. I really do. Cause there's, I don't know how much time is left for voting, but I wanna, I wanna get through those. How's your Kurt Russell doing? Good, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. But um, there's also Herald Game Jams. Can I go down here? Nope. Hmm. So I gotta fix the tank. I had to replace the flame. Oh wait, the drum fuel tank before I could fill it up. The drum? There we go. Sweet. After the repairs, my flamethrower was ready. The tubes were covered in rust, so I took great care to avoid overheating it. Okay. Okay, key is going to flip. Perfect. God! Ah, the rats are back! No! They came back! After the repairs, my flip. Cool off, D7, <laughs> oh my god. That was bad, man, that was bad. Okay, I gotta, I'm just gonna let it completely cool off. Before moving forward, because the rats are gonna kill me. It overheated. That's what killed me. It overheated. No, why? After the repairs, my. All right, screw this. I'm saving. Burn their. Whoa! Oh my god, Kian, no! Yeah, I combusted because. Ugh. Got too hot. Way too hot. Wait for it. Go. Okay. Looks like it doesn't permanently keep happening. They they stop after you burn them a little. Okay, that's good at least. Keep 
Everything's nice and chill. There we go. Okay. I have to be careful or I'm gonna blow up. I should vote in this poll. <laughs> It's Herald Time Surge. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that we set a lot of rats. That just makes my life so much better. God. Dora. Jeez, more? No, stop it! That's enough of you little fuckers. Jesus. Lord in heaven. Full of hot air. Her toy looking out for you. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, you can see his reflection on the, I didn't realize that. That's actually really cool looking. Oh, this one's gonna be awful. I can already tell. Yeah, we're okay now. Whoever said a lot of rats, I please ban them. Drip back being cow oh got quicks, no. There we go. This is a fun sequence though. Oh, I'm at max, okay. May as well heal up then. Befriend their leader. <laughs> no! I was on the wrong thing! No! No! I'm all the way back here. <laughs> no. D7, shush your mouth, man. Shush. I forgot to put it back to the stupid. It's like Kurt Russell one. All right, so we're we're gonna play this tonight. We'll come back to Harold Game Jam on Monday then. How many days are left to vote? By the way. Hey, I saved this time. All right, I saved when I could. This time, totally not my fault. Okay, that, that's plenty of time. Okay, good. Kurt Russell, a rat buddy. Oh my good lord. Yeah, if you just skip a little pulses, it's perfectly okay. Okay, Dora. Yeah, not saving is kind of my thing, unfortunately. Ah! So many of them! to a rat named Ben. I think I've got 15 left altogether.
Yep. All the little charred rat bodies, oh my god! All their little charred bodies, no! There. <laughs> I'm not gonna screw up this time. That, that, it was a uh, weird owl. I wrote a love song to a rat named Ben. No, wait, that wasn't, that wasn't weird. It was uh, in living color, right. No! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Play with the animals and hang out with Macaulay all night. Yeah, that it was in living color. It was a parody. Oh no! Oh, it's saved. So. You must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. Oh no. What the? Sewer junk? It, it was... Black or white? What's cold as ice challenge? Stop damaging it with the flames. Oh no! Well, okay, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Oh no. I I have to Oh no, I have to use the flamethrower to deal with the rats. But then how do I how do I attack it? I could use that, I guess. Okay, this is not working out for my. <laughs> Just punch the rats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> it was a parody of black or white. Ah, uh, what are you singing? <laughs> I know I did. You must have been very lonely down there. Nah. That's the um. No! Why? It just. <sighs> Either fire. <laughs> I thought it would hit it, like in the face. I thought it would hit it in the face! So how am I supposed to do this if he, if I don't have enough shots that are gonna, you know... Oh. <laughs> gonna do anything, buddy? Eats rings. What's what's what is what's the passive? What 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 did what did I get? I gave it something and it gave me something. Oh come on, let me hit it. Damn it. Yeah, challenge denied. Gah! I don't know how to beat this without, without, like. Okay. A Duolingo owl. It should be a pretty simple to do, I think. Ugh. And that thing had 
tentacles? Well, now that you mention it. Oh no. No! 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 There's a challenge to do it without burning it with the flamethrower, but... It had six tentacles. that thing dead but then my luck turned south cthulhu the old flamethrower no 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 <laughs> oh you guys are awful <laughs> exploded. exploded due to a gasoline leak Wait. Wait. Did I not sur- Wait, but how do I- What? It just- Wait! You must but have been very lonely down there. <laughs> what kind of- What? That was pretty great. <laughs> I don't think I- What? No! And that thing had... It had six tentacles. God. Oh, 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 easy there. It's actually a pretty fun boss, though. Oh, it looks like if it continually... Oh, shit. Rat. Dead, but then my <sighs> broke apart. 
broke apart as I continued the fight. So I finished it the old-fashioned way, with my fists. Oh my god! That's how you do- <laughs> You're right! <laughs> You must have been very lonely down there. Because I want to try and do this now. <laughs> now that I've figured it out. There we go. Whoops, I forgot. Got the rats still come out. Oh my gosh. Ugh. And that thing? No, no, not right it... now! It had six tentacles. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. What? Oh, shit. That was not good. They can! They can! Oh, the rats are the worst part of this, seriously. Ah, damn it. Smart rats! Well, if I... The thing is, if I don't go below a certain point, then... You must have been very lonely down there. Pick two this time? All right. If I don't if I don't go below a certain point, the rats don't spawn. So I just if I stay up here, I'm good. Okay, Dora, have a good never mind. Thought I had this shit all figured out. I did not. Ugh. And that thing? Let's do two. It had two dozen tentacles. No! Attempt to Fine, we'll do four this time. <laughs> we have to have fun here. You must have been very lonely down there. We have fun here. God. Two rats, what? Ugh, and that thing had... It had four pairs of tentacles. God damn it! Seriously? <laughs> four 
pairs of tentacles. No, God. That's not where I want. I wanted it to go right here. Ugh. God, this is tough. Ugh. Because holy shit. D damn it! I keep hitting the wrong fucking buttons. That fucking four pairs. I'm going with six. The six was the original, so we're sticking with that. Very lonely down there. Nah. I Stay there, stay there, stay there, you piece of shit! There we go. Damn it! And four pairs, six. There we it go. Had six tentacles. There we go. try the challenge before I just say fuck it. You must have been very lonely down there. Sword in it. Ugh, rats already lovely. Six tentacles. stops as soon as you take some damage.
See, this is... Ah, the rats are fucking everything up. I don't know if hitting the tentacle is going to do the thing or not either. Oh, my God. Get across no oh no. Okay. I think that kind of stops the rats a little. Yeah, I, I, I can get across with the raft now, but where I'm gonna be oh come on I'm almost there I nearly had that thing dead but then my luck turned yeah it's not broke apart as I continued the fight there that's fine that's so fine. I finished it the old-fashioned way with my fists there we go okay I can't hit it there There we go. Boss defeated. And achievement. Nice. Oh, fuck. Why am I doing this? I have the raft. Like, oh, God. No! Oh, shit! God. Mr. Fox, the gallows noose, tell me how you got it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Enough. You've tried my patience, Mr. Fox. Tell me right now how you got that damn noose, or I'll kick your ass and throw you in isolation. <laughs> okay, okay. No need for that. I was just about to tell you. <laughs> Hair, guts, or broccoli? Which is the news? Oh my god, what? Kia? <laughs> broccoli? <laughs> I asked Mike, the prison guard, to make a noose so I could hang myself. And he brought me one, thinking I would do it. That's all. What about the broccoli? Broccoli? What are you talking about? <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Fox. I think I mixed something up. What? Really? How you got the news? Of course not. I lied to the officer. Why? <laughs> because no one threatens me to tell the truth. Then how did you really get the news? I'll tell you later. Let's <laughs> see. No secrets. Ah! I don't even know where to find. Yeah, she, she's. <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. <sighs> Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office. Like we were driving, and cabinets, he's telling her desks, the story of how we. And of course, a damn guard. <sighs> Later, I'd realized that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors hidden secrets, and a few unexpected surprises. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, they which was are. close to the first floor office I started in. I think so. 
But he's, he's telling her the story of how he told the colonel the story of how he escaped from this military complex. Huh? What was that? Got him. I don't know. I, th I think that may be where the gag is going. <laughs> Mike. Their son named Mike. In the beginning, I didn't know exactly where I was, but I knew for sure I wasn't outside. Now that I could get a signal, calling the colonel crossed my mind, but I realized I didn't have much to report. Speak of the devil. Son, do you copy? Copy, colonel. For the love of God, where have you been? I thought you were dead. As I said, colonel, there's no signal in the sewers. Give me a sit rep, son. My report. After crossing a mile of smelly, mutant-infested shit streams, fighting thousands of rodents and nearly being torn apart by some shredders, I managed to get out of there, and I'm still in this fucking military base. Don't lose your marbles, son. You have plenty of nighttime, and they don't know your location. Take advantage of this and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Just don't forget the documents. We need to find out more about Operation Jericho. <laughs> if I make it out alive, will you write me a recommendation letter? If you make it out, we'll give you a damn purple cross. Over and out. I had no Mike doubt Mike. that the colonel worked for the government. Why is that? Because the only thing that old bastard did was demand, demand, demand. <laughs> uh. We already screwed up that, so we have to... I don't even know how to access saves in this, or uh, secrets in this, so... Oh, man. There's no map. That's the hints. There it was, the exit. Sergeant Roscoe's security card didn't open the door, so I had to search for someone who would lend it to me. How dare you? The controls. Challenges. We got that one. Reach level four. We're going to the doors. Oh, there's only a few left. That, that, that's a terrible hint. There's no map. At least that I know of. Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Nice. Almost all four. Hey, Zemsi, it's Unmetal. It's like a comedy Metal Gear game. There, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Wait, is this... Is this where he meets her? Uh, no. It's him. It's the prisoner that hit us. What? It turned out that all the guards I knocked ah! out were brought to the sick bay. And some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot! Okay. I surrender. The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face. What a body. What a beauty. What? This girl was smoking hot. And she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But, I had to grab it without making a single step. Do I have... I've got that. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? <laughs> Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. <laughs> Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... Oh god, where do, where do we... where do we throw it? Thigh, chest, or belly? I stuck it... In what?! My chest. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. What? Are you nuts or what? Now you can't shoot me. <laughs> what do you mean? You just made it easier for me. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. <laughs> the Hippocratic Oath you took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients. <laughs> and also forces you to cause patients no harm. <laughs> I've been injured in a sick bay. Your sick bay. Therefore, I'm now your patient. And I'm forced to assist you. You <laughs> bastard! Yeah, been called that plenty of times. No! Way. By the way, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. I would not. <laughs> You're done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. By the way... Hey, what was that for? That's for all the extra hours. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. Okay, I'm a I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. I'll <laughs> find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. Oh my gosh. What's this challenge? Heal 20 guards. <laughs> Doctor, it hurts. Don't speak. My, my rack. You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> <laughs> How do I heal the guard and Okay, I can do something I can. My sight's still fuzzy, doctor. That's expected. You got hit pretty hard, but it looks like your eyes will recover. <laughs> There we go. Oh, they just keeps dropping them. Nice. I think if I yeah, I think it, it, if I get a gun and I hit a guard, then it'll yeah. Bullets. Yep. 
And a gun. I finally had a gun. Now I could kill those guards. That is, if I were an assassin and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. So you really didn't kill anyone? Of course not. I'm not an assassin. The gun I found was empty, but it had a 10 bullet magazine. So I loaded it up with any bullets I found. <laughs> Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hi, friend. How's that escape going? Still alive and free. So far. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. I love Turns this out, game. I got too close. They did Next such a good know, job I was on surrounded it. by a bunch of pricks. Aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. <laughs> concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. <laughs> too much security for something so mundane. But enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend. Ghost draw. Oh. He misunderstands stealth. <laughs> Needs a ring. So you use the rings and they pay for these little extra things. That's kind of cute. Board of the bullets. What the hell? Have 90 or more bullets at the same time. <laughs> I'm very curious how this actually plays out. I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. I had to heal him before bleeding to death. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. There we go. Sweet! <laughs> um, that's a good question. I'll find out next. <laughs> I'm very curious. Not to be pretty mad! <laughs> Mission failed. You killed someone! Okay, so you, if they die, you die. Fox, do you copy? Okay. Interesting. That's like totally not our fault. <laughs> Thing is, I didn't get experience for um, shooting him. How do you figure? I heard something. There we go. Should have not bless him. You may press X to instantly close the distance and punch enemies in containers, or rolling thunder. Cool down between rolls is halved. Ooh, so which which do we go for, folks? I like this leveling up system. What loser bleeds so easily? <laughs> What should we pick? Oh, excuse me. Mike, that's who? We're gonna go with Tiger Lunch, I think. Well, I mean, this, this one I think would be more useful. Yeah, let's go Tiger. Gonna 
watch his pattern. Strike. Because I want that experience, so. Okay, what's up? Oh, okay. This is Jesse Fox. <clears throat> Over. This is the doctor. Over. What? Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level two. Leaving the building requires level three clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP so I stop getting so many patients. By the way, what's your name? My name is Doctor. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Doctor. <laughs> nice. Strike the right opportunity. Shh, really? Escaping prisoner, send back up. Potential XP. Fuck. <laughs> ah. So you get spotted at all by any guards, it's like, nope, sorry. You get nothing. Oh, another file. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. It's okay. We know that. I found a secret! Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found more documents. They look like... a list of coordinates. Coordinates? Of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Huh. They could be strike targets. Those ah! bastards could be planning to attack us. Nice hint. Nice hint, Kia. Nice. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, slot. Stamina. Okay, I got another stamina thing without. Let's try again. Um. What was bullet slots, though? Oh, it's a passive. I wish I could see what my passives are. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Store one extra bullet for each extra slot. To increase your match HP by two. Sweet. I said, don't exit the building so fast. Okay. Okay, 
We want to go up to the uh, third floor, but what's on the second floor? Colonel? Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Oh. Not yet, Colonel, but a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake, control your hormones, son. We're in the middle of a very serious operation. <laughs> Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours, nor am I any of your soldiers. <clears throat> I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess, don't you realize this is an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you. Search every damn office in that building for any information you can prevent that damn plan. Over and out. Is this another one? No, it's an X. Okay. Well, that's a freaking. Oh, Jesus! Am I? I'm bleeding. That thing would see me, but it did. Yeah, that's okay. Rage against the machine. What's this one? Fight turns by punching them. God dang it! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Son of a bitch. I think I'm this way. That's one. That's two. Got it. Nice. Okay, that's the... Okay. <clears throat> My blood. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. There we go. That worked a lot better. Yeah, plus we're getting bullets, so we're good. Nice. 
Nice. It just saved. I don't like that. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. <laughs> it seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. Ah! Mega draw. <laughs> oh god, it's instant kill! Oh no! <laughs> I noticed a few abandoned up on Amazon delivery drone. Ah. That is super close. The second file of Operation Jericho was Oops. a Wrong button. The second file of Operation Jer- Okay, I need it. I already fucked this up, I think. Oh, I think we're okay. Oh, I missed bullets. Shit. Oh, shit. There we go. Boss defeated. <laughs> That's great. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey, Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less vicious way to handle them? <laughs> Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh, sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. Her voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? Well, it's girly, of course. Oh but... no! Oh, shut up. Continue your story. <laughs> Find a non-violent method to take down the guards. What is that, though? Collateral damage. What's this challenge? Die while tampering with Adam's items during inventory? What? What? <laughs> Amazing. Hey, we got our bullets back. It worked, you know? This is Jesse Fox. You're drooling. Take down the guards. Oh my gosh. Oh, anti thermal suit. What? I still haven't even gone to the third floor yet. I should probably do that before I get too far and then have to go all the way back. But at least we took care of a boss first. Yes, don't leave too quickly. We're just on the second floor. We gotta go to the third floor to get the key card to leave.
Okay, that's the one we need, the orange or the green card. Thermal sensor. Those thermal sensors had a detection angle of 90 degrees, and would sense the heat of my body like the predator. They obviously wouldn't detect through the tall brown boxes in the facility, so I could hide from them like how I've been sneaking around the guards. But the containers weren't everywhere. Any wide open areas were a problem. That's when I thought to call the colonel, where I'd learn a way to trick the sensors. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. I'm on the third floor. <laughs> this is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting it off. Do you have any ideas? In the army, we use insulating suits to conceal our body temperatures. That's what we got. Okay, so... Oh shoot, should I go back then? Or should I go for- Ah, which is the way I'm supposed to? Ha! <laughs> nice. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Pee on yourself! Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news, scoring more points with the doctor. Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho... Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Colonel. I discovered a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Damn. This means that they need me for their plan. Just in case. And then I go walking by without. So, how do I take down the guards? Can I? I wish you could see the sensors, but oh well. Oh. Alpha building map? What? Oh, 